Emily, what about the ladies with the hats at Ebor Ladies Day? They'll have to hang on to them, won't they? Because it does look rather blustery. A bit of an improvement, though, though, through the afternoon. And then overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, the first named storm since early April. Storm Lillian will bring some heavy rain, but we're particularly concerned about the strong winds through tomorrow morning's rush hour, uh, particularly in exposed areas like the A1 with the winds coming in from the west. So out there this afternoon, uh, quite a bit of cloud at the moment. We've had this uh, rain just edging southeastwards. It will continue to move away southeastwards over the coming hours. The breeze will ease down ever so slightly and we should see a bit more in the way of bright weather, dry weather with some sunshine coming through uh, through the afternoon. Temperatures uh, reaching uh, around 19 to 21 degrees. So some sunshine to end the day and into this evening for most of us, but cloud will spread in from the west. Outbreaks of rain will spread eastwards. There'll be some heavy spells of rain, a strengthening wind too. And it is the wind that we are particularly concerned about into tomorrow morning's rush hour. Overnight temperatures dropping back to 12 degrees. So at the risk of quite widespread gales tomorrow morning, uh, that rain will clear away and slowly through the day the winds will ease. A few showers in the west, but also some spells of sunshine. And actually through the afternoon we should have a good deal of dry and bright weather and by then the winds will certainly not be as strong. Temperatures tomorrow uh, around uh, 17, 18 up to 20 degrees. Uh, for the bank holiday weekend a mixed bag looking a bit better for Monday Claire. Not good if you're under canvas at Leeds Fest is yeah. it? Like yeah, and I believe we're about to have a, a, an autumn blast is that right? Yes a named storm. Now we haven't had one since April and this is Storm Lillian. Now we don't often get storms in August and it's going to be unseasonably windy. Of course, it's not ideal, is it? We've still got loads of leaves on the trees. There'll be lots of people out camping, lots of people out travelling uh, to get away for that final weekend of the summer holidays. And the peak of those winds look to be through the rush hour. So that's not ideal either. So more information on Storm Lillian and the wet with wind warning that we've got for that in a moment. But it has been a blustery day today, not as windy as it will be tomorrow, but the ladies at uh, Ladies Day at the Ebor Festival certainly will have had to hang on to their hats because it has been rather blustery uh, through today. Uh, the second picture that I'm going to show you uh, shows this lovely uh, rainbow. We've also had quite a number of showers today as well, but brightening up the sky there in Brockholes. You can see key pictures coming in to the Weather Watchers page. Uh, we're on social media as well, keely.donovan on Instagram. So yes, storm Storm Lillian is going to bring wet and very windy weather. We're most concerned about the wind and the fact that the peak uh, strength of those winds will be through tomorrow morning's rush hour, widely 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts. And as that wind veers round to the west, we are particularly concerned uh, about uh, routes like the A1. Uh, so there's, that, there's Storm Lillian moving out of the way. Uh, and then for the weekend, we're looking like Saturday sunshine and showers, uh, clouding over on Sunday. Uh, and then into Monday, it looks like it'll get drier and hopefully a little bit milder. So Monday looks like the best day of the bank holiday weekend. Uh, so we had some rain this morning. It's been a largely dry afternoon, perhaps a little bit of brightness out there at the moment, but cloudy is going to spread in from the west without breaks of rain overnight. Some of the rain will be heavy and persistent, but that main body of rain will have moved through by tomorrow morning leaving a lot of showers and the wind will strengthen overnight as well 12 or 13 degrees the low let's have a quick look at those high water times then 10 past 7 in Scarborough and 20 past 7 in Filey so yes it's the strength of the winds that we're concerned about through tomorrow morning's rush hour widespread uh, risk of gales uh, gradually through the day those winds easing off and after a few showers through the morning those will ease off too and it'll actually develop into quite a pleasant afternoon still windy but not as windy as it will be first thing with temperatures uh, reaching between 18 and 20 degrees so feeling perhaps a little bit chilly uh, in that breeze Tomorrow evening looks largely fine. Still the odd shower about in the west and northwest, but a lot of dry weather uh, through tomorrow evening. Into Saturday, we're looking at a mix of some spells of sunshine. There'll also be some showers around as well on Saturday. And then on Sunday, clouding over after a fine start. There could be the odd spot or two of rain, drier, brighter, and hopefully that a little bit milder for Monday, Phil. Thank you, Keely. That's as far as we go for... Hello there, good evening. Storm Lillian is set to bring wet and very windy weather. And we've got a warning from the Met Office. We are expecting the strongest of those winds through tomorrow morning's rush hour. Gusts 50 to 60 mile an hour quite widely and we're particularly concerned about the A1. So that rain sets in from the west overnight. Heavy in places but that main body of rain will move away by morning. The winds will strengthen and temperatures will drop back to 12 
or 13 degrees. So very windy conditions first thing in the morning and through the rush hour. We'll continue to see a few showers being blown in through the morning, also some sunshine, and then those showers tend to fade away. There'll be a lot of dry and bright weather through the afternoon with sunny spells, and the breeze will gradually ease down. The winds will gradually ease down through the afternoon as well. Uh, 18 to 20 degrees, the high. So looking further ahead into Saturday, a mix of sunny spells, there'll be a few showers around as well. And then on Sunday, it'll cloud over after a fine start. There may well be a little bit of rain in places, particularly uh, for the hills. The best day of the bank holiday weekend looks like Monday. Hello there, good evening. We've got some very windy weather on the way and a warning from the Met Office. We're looking at the risk of widespread gales through tomorrow, particularly from northern Lincolnshire northwards, but anywhere could get strong winds through tomorrow morning's rush hour. Overnight tonight, outbreaks of rain will spread eastwards. They'll be showery in places, but they still could be heavy. That main body of rain clearing away later as the winds strengthen and temperatures drop back to 13 or 14 degrees. So a showery start to the day and a very windy rush hour. Uh, as we move through, the day that we'll have a few showers but also a lot of dry weather with uh, some spells of sunshine a dry afternoon and those strong winds slowly moderating through the day so still blustery but not as windy as it will be tomorrow morning 20 or 21 degrees the high